Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Alcohol. Anything that you want, you got to get it from another nation. We don't get anything by ourselves. All of our money go in our pocket and somebody else's pocket. They don't go into none of our people's pockets. Because guess what? That's a curse. Having to get something, having no resources, having no land, having no property. All these things is a curse. This is a curse. And we're trying to get our people to realize the cursed state that we in so that we can wake up and realize that God will fight for us if we come back to these laws. Verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. It says because we didn't want to serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, because guess what? God made the whole earth for us. You know that? He made it just for the children of Israel. That's, right. That's what he did. But people, you know what? They knew if we stayed down, then they'd be ruling the earth. But guess what? We have an opportunity to come back to it. We come back to God's laws, we're going to rule the earth again. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. Because we didn't want to serve God, he said we was going to have to serve our enemies. And it's going to describe who those enemies are. It says, because you didn't want to listen to me, you want to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So the Lord sent our enemy against us to come get us. He did this to us. He did this. You say you Native American? The Spaniards came over here and did this. Like I said, they work in the, work in the fields, being beaten right here. This is showing right here. You see that first stone right there? That's showing they had the Ten Commandments over here in New Mexico when they got over here. They knew that they were the children of Israel. They knew this. Look at that. Look at numbers. That's a scripture. It was applying scriptures. So these are the curses showing that our people, our enemy was going to come up against them. That's what happened. An enemy came. Read. And in thirst. I'll read that again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger. It says in hunger, right? So when we were in slavery, when we were in slavery, how did we have to get our food? You say what? From the masses, right? Now today, how do we got to get our food today? You say what? <laughs> from the same people. We have to get our food from the same people today. Right? You want to go to that checkers? You want to go to any of the, the liquors? Who make, who make all this stuff? We, we don't make anything. Hey, brother. So, yeah. According to the Bible, we was going to serve our enemies in one of all things. In hunger, read. And in thirst. It says, and in thirst. So when you thirst and you want some water, who you got to get it from? You want some coke. You want some alcohol. Anything that you want, you got to get it from another nation. We don't get anything by ourselves. All of our money go in our pocket and somebody else's pocket. They don't go into none of our people's pockets. Because guess what? That's a curse. Having to get something, having no resources, having no land, having no property. All these things is a curse. This is a curse. And we're trying to get our people to realize the curse state that we in so that we can wake up and realize that God will fight for us if we come back to these laws. Wait. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Let's keep it going. God wants to show you everything. What is it? Hunger. What was it? Hunger, thirst. thirst, and nakedness. So it says, when you want clothes, who you got to get it from? Who you got to get your clothes from? 
Who owned the store, Paul? Who owned the store, Kyle? You know the government. The government of the white man. The Chinese man. The Indian man. You look on your tag on your clothes, what does it say? Made in China. Made in China. Made in India. Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. It's not we don't make it. This is a curse. This is part of having a curse on you, having to get all your resources from somebody else. That's a curse, really. And in want of all things. And anything you want, you gotta get it from them. You want an education, who you gotta get it from? You want a driver license, you want a passport. You understand? You want a car loan. You want a house loan. What, what don't you gotta get from them? This is a curse, brother. So jump to verse 68. I wanna show you, according to the Bible, because the Bible is a historical records book that's showing you what's going on today and in the past. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So it describes that enemy. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. It says, and these curses shall be upon thee for a sign. This is the sign, right? So it says, who put these, who put these yokes around on our neck? It ain't, without a shadow of a doubt, this didn't happen to nobody else. This is showing us, according to the Bible, that we God's chosen people. And we have to realize that us being God's chosen people, we have to live at a higher level, a higher conduct code. We can't be treating our bodies wrong. We can't be showing our bodies off. We have to be showing and caring about one another. This is commandments that we got to start applying. We don't apply these, then guess what? We're going to stay like this. Verse 68. 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Someone says the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. How we get over here, Paul? You say what? We got over here with, on ships, right? Let me get over here on ship, just like this. Look at look at those bodies, man. Look how they stacked on each other like that. They had to piss, defecate on each other. They throwing up on each other, having babies. Women's having menstrual cycles. Want y'all to put in your mind how bad it was. A lot of people didn't even make it over here from diseases, from being in such bad conditions during the travel. It took months for them to get over here. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. As I'm telling you with this, this is how it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. It says, thou shalt see your homeland no more again. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.